Hi YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. My name's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. I try to every week do a roundup video of everything that I've worked on and show you and maybe you'll see something that you're inspired by and you wanna make something yourself. So this is just kind of a quick wrap up. Everything that I worked on this week, I have a little bit of mix of Halloween and some farmhouse decor and I think you're gonna love the stuff. So let's get started. I've been getting lots of messages from you guys on stuff that you're creating and I'd love to see pictures of it. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram or Facebook. Send me a message, attach a picture. I'd love to see it. I'd love to get inspired from what you guys are making and I love to inspire you and see your take on how you make it. So the links for those two um, will be down in my description. Follow me over there and um, let's connect. This week was full of spooky Halloween with a splash of some um, farmhouse decor. So the first thing I'm gonna start on is I did some farmhouse porch decor. I have a full tutorial on stuff that I made for my porch that need to be refreshed. And um, you can check that down, the link in the description to that video. But this is one of the signs that I made. Welcome to our home. It was made from an old front of a dresser drawer. I couldn't get the handles off. I love the handles. So I decided just to leave it as B and make the sign on the, the back of that drawer. And I love the way that it turned out. I also refreshed a pitchfork found in the dump. I grabbed it out of the metal bin and I had already painted it with some white chalk paint, but I thought it needed a nice little welcome graphic. So I added that on and I think it turned out perfect. It's gonna look great at my front door. I also had an old milk can at my front door. The paint had started to fade. So I decided to um, paint it again, refresh it, and I put a really nice graphic on the front with our last name and the year that we got married. And I love the way it turned out too. So those three projects finished off my porch perfectly and now I'm ready to put out my fall decor around those pieces. Also this past week, I had two Crown Royal bottles that I've had laying around since Christmas, wasn't inspired. Finally this week I got inspired and I decided to do some real spooky Halloween. The first one that I did was with a large Crown Royal bottle. I love this one because it's got the big handle on the back and I turned it into a poison bottle for Halloween. Did a dirt technique on it to, uh, for painting it and it turned out spooky and scary and old looking. The second Crown Royal bottle that I did was a smaller one and I used my graphic go away, put a candle in it and I dripped some looks like blood and gory. Not everybody is into that for Halloween. I like kind of a mix of that and um, just regular traditional Halloween, but love the way this turned out. I have a full tutorial for those two bottles. I'll put the link down below in the description so you can see how I made these. I had lots of scrap wood that I cut up, lots of two by fours. I love to cut them into sizes that they look great in tiered trays or just to display in your home on um, your cabinets or your countertops. And I did a whole bunch of Halloween ones. Um, these graphics are all available in my Etsy store if you're interested in trying some of these signs yourself. Make sure you use the code SAVE50. You'll get 50% off all my graphics and I have all kinds of fall and Halloween theme in there right now that um, are lots of fun. On one of my thrifting adventures, I found a book. It's one of those ones that open up and um, has storage inside and I knew when I found it, I wanted to make it into a Halloween theme. Um, and I designed these graphics, bruise and portion, potion, and um, really distressed it, love the way that it turned out. And it was so simple and so easy. And um, I'm hoping I'm gonna find more of these when I'm out thrifting. I usually see them quite a bit actually, because I have some great ideas for some Christmas theme to do for these uh, projects. So if you're out thrifting, look for these little boxes and they're a lot of fun to upcycle. I also picked up this vase at a yard sale, I think in the summer, and I didn't, I think I have a before picture of it. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'll put it up here if I can find it. And what I did was I painted it with my sawdust paint. It gives it a really rough texture when it's finished, and I thought it looks like a witch's cauldron. Had some old kind of dead foliage in my garden and my yard that I added into it, and I think it looks spooky and scary. This might be my favorite of the week. I had an old piece of chippy barn board. The paint was kind of all peeling off of it. And then I had another board I made my graphic on, did 
did some chippy paint technique with some candle wax, got some different colors coming through, and I created this fantastic Halloween sign. It goes in my house, up above my um, hutch in my kitchen for the season, and I love it. I found a yard sale last weekend and I, they had some wooden shelves. I always pick them up when I find them. So I've got, I picked up three. This is the first one. It already has a coat of white paint on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these shelves yet. So if you've ever done anything with them, um, let me know down in the description if you have any ideas or inspiration. So I picked up that one. I also picked up this one. This one screams 90s. It's bare wood, nothing has been done on it. Not really loving the heart in the middle. I think I might remove it and then maybe give this a really chippy kind of farmhouse feel. And then I also picked up this one. Love it. And it's raw wood too. Nothing has ever been done to it. So if you have any ideas of what I should do with these, let me know. Get me inspired because um, this is going to be next week's project. And the last thing that I worked on was some cutting boards. These have turned into my best sellers. I can never make enough of them. So I'm always looking for any type of scrap wood that I can turn into cutting boards. This, um, these turn out so great. I cut them out, add a little jute, a little piece of greenery hanging from the top. And these can be, the greenery can be changed out and you can do um, a fall greenery or Christmas. And um, I just love them. And I've got some bigger ones that I also made too and made them really rustic looking and kind of chipped up the edges and I sealed these all with some polyacrylic sealer these are for decor pieces only but they look great hanging in the kitchen and I just love them and like I said these are my best sellers so if you have any scrap wood you need to try to make some of these okay that wraps up the video today I was busy this past week made lots of stuff let me know if you see anything that you love and I hope I've inspired you to make some of these projects yourself or gave you some ideas. Um, and like I said before, all the graphics that I used on my projects are available in my Etsy store. Use the code SAVE50. I have a whole folder full of Halloween and fall decor graphics that are so much fun. And if you've created something with the graphics, make sure you send me a picture, head over to Facebook or to Instagram and send them there and I would love to see them. And if you're new here, I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification because I'm always doing lots of thrifting, repurposing, upcycling, and DIY content. And love to have you follow along. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY, thrifting, repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.